Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial we will learn about PostgreSQL drop table. Let's see what we are going to cover in this video tutorial. First we will know about PostgreSQL drop table. Then we will understand about PostgreSQL drop multiple tables. After this we will know about PostgreSQL drop table cascade. At the end we will know about PostgreSQL drop table if exist. Now move to the first topic PostgreSQL drop table. We can remove a table from a database in PostgreSQL by using the statement drop table. It destroys the table with the indexes, rules, triggers and constant related to that table. The syntax is as follows drop table if exist table name cascade restrict where the table name is the name of the table that we want to remove from the database. If exist cascade and restrict are the optional keywords we will discuss about in the later topics. Note we have to be the owner of the table that we are removing or a super user to remove the tables from a database else we can't now let's take an example and drop the table now create the table employee and insert the following data and view the table now as we can see in the table section we have the table employee so let's drop this table and use the statement drop table employee and execute this code as we can see we have successfully dropped the table now refresh this section as we can see this section doesn't contain any table because we have dropped that table and the name of the table is employer again create the same table insert the following data now expand the section table or if it doesn't show the table just refresh it sometimes if a pg admin doesn't show the tables just restart this pg admin application or what we can do we can refresh this whole database after refreshing let's see now the table is showing in the section table you can see here we can also drop the table from this pg admin right click on that or select that table right click on that table click on delete and drop now click on yes as we can see table is also deleted this is how we delete the table the next topic is PostgreSQL drop multiple table we can remove multiple tables from a database in one statement in PostgreSQL by specifying the comma separated name by specifying the comma separated name of the tables after the statement drop table the syntax is as follows as we can see here first we write the command drop table after this we specify the name of table like a table name 1 table name 2 that has to be removed from the database Let's see with an example. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to create the same table but with a different table name. Now I am going to give the name of the table is like EMP. Now create this table and uh, insert the following data. View the table. Now look at the in table section. We have successfully created the EMP table. Now what we will do, we will just uh, drop both the table, the employee table and the EMP table. So according to the syntax, we will specify the comma after the first table name and we will specify the name of the second table that we want to remove from the database EMP now again look at this section we have a two table EMP and employer we are going to drop this table with the help of a single statement now execute this statement drop table first table name employer and the second table name EMP execute this code we have successfully written the query it is showing query returned successfully now we refresh this section as we can see this section or the table section doesn't contain any table so we have successfully deleted that two table using a single statement the next topic is postgresql drop table cascade let's discuss now the keyword cascade when the table that you want to remove is referenced by a foreign key constant of some other table or a view Cascade must be specified as a cascade removes any independent view entirely and removes the foreign key constant from that referencing table. The syntax is as follows drop table, table name, and the keyword cascade. If we don't to force if we don't want to force dropping of table to which other object depends, we can skip the cascade keyword or we can specify the keyword restrict, which is default. Which is by default for the drop table statement that refuse to drop the table if any object depend on it let's take an example and understand how cascade keyword work while dropping the table now create a two table first table is department table and second table is employee data now execute the code 
who have successfully created this two table. Let's look in the table section. If it doesn't show, refresh the database. Now as we can see here department and employee data table. Let's drop this table. So first we will use the drop table and department name. Drop table and the name of the table department. When we run the first statement, it shows here cannot drop the table department because the other object depend on it. Now again run the same statement with the restrict keyword. Again it shows the same error. Now again run the same statement with cascade keyword. As we can see, drop cascade to concert department F key on a table employee data. We have successfully removed the table department with the help of cascade keyword. Let's look in the table section. Here we have only one table that is the employee data and the other table is got dropped with the help of drop table department cascade. The last topic of this tutorial is PostgreSQL drop table if exist. We can execute a drop table statement to remove the table only if already exist by specifying the if exist keyword after the drop table statement which will check the table existence before executing the drop statement. The syntax is as follows. If there is no such table exist that we want to remove then PostgreSQL uses an error. Hence to prevent the error statement if exist keyword is a use that is skip the drop statement that is skip the drop table statement in such case. The syntax is drop table if exist table name and the keyword cascade restrict. Now the drop the table employee data with a single statement and drop the same table with the keyword if exist. Execute the code. Table is dropped successfully. Let's refresh the database. As we can see, employee data table is removed. This is how we remove the tables from the database using the keyword if exist with a statement drop table. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about PostgreSQL drop table on the website sqlserverguides.com. I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about PostgreSQL drop table and learn how to remove tables from a database. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and thank you.